American basis to get rid of and to control the drug distribution and what have you in Colombia, to take back their market share. It's basically what it was. To take it back. The great friend Mexico. And now the United States has destroyed Central America. They talk about MS-13, MS-13, all those places. They have to find new routes. So the new routes is the Central American route. They find cocaine sometimes floating uh, up on a, on, on a beach. Kilos, sometimes they lose shipments. Central America, you know, is there? They, the Zionists, the Americans, the Zionists first have a global strategy. Do we have a global strategy? Do the Muslims? We're not talking about just Iran, Hezbollah, Syria. We're not talking about the strategic alliance. They have a recognizable, you can see <laughs> where they're coming from, right? And you can see why they're the target. And you could respect, too, why they have the stickability, but they are under wholesale attack. In a way, it's good that they have two big boys, China and Russia, kind of floating around a little bit. But remember, China and Russia is under sanctions too. This time though, it don't look as bad. Oh, what have they been trying to do? Re-engineer the whole in the whole Middle East, really re-engineer the whole world. Make the world America friendly, make the world Zionist friendly, make the world Saudi friendly. But all three of these are gaining a bad reputation. But if we're not organized, Time will pass and they will slip on out and be right back at our throat. In fact, they have left it. They don't even explain what they do. They don't, they don't have to. We're in Syria, we're going to stay there. If you come around bothering us, we're going to kill you. Just happened to oil that Syria has happened to be there. And where do they get the right to come into somebody else's country uninvited anyway? They don't have to explain it. They go to the UN and they get 50 countries to join with them with Venezuela. Against Venezuela. 50 countries. Okay. The reason we opened up with uh, those ayats first was to let you know that we were not anti-Zionists. I mean that we are anti-Zionists, but not Yahoo. Inna ladina amanu alladina hadu. Hadu is Jews. Torah-carrying Jews, Torah-implementing Jews. Ali Kitab. Wasabi'un. The Sabi'in, they used to get baptized and have a division. Wan Nasara. The helpers, the Christians. <clears throat> Amanta Billahi Wal Yawm al Akira Wa Amila Salihan Fala Salihan 
فلا خوف أسفير عليهم ولا هم يزنون On them will be no fear. The people that believe in Allah, whether whether Yahud, whether Sabiun, Sabiin, whether Nasara, any who believe in Allah and the last day will receive their reward from their Lord and there won't be no fear on them nor shall it grieve. These for us are the Torah Jews. Not the Zionists. The Zionists, look, the greatest enemy that the Zionists have is the Torah practicing. Boy, you ought to hear them talk about the Zionists, the swine eaters. Good God Almighty. See, what they say is triumph of falsity. They, they, Judaism and Zionism is false. And they're profiting off of it. They're pushing it. That's what their lectures are about. Why is this not true? Why is that true and certain other things? Then they have it right down here in Arabic too. So they They support Palestine. If you want to see a Palestinian flag in Israel, first place you go to is the Hasidic Jews. They don't go in the army. They don't do nothing. But now they're trying to. They're trying to make them go to the army, but they are dragging them in the street. They, I don't think they're going to get them in the army. They're not going to get it. It's going to be too wide. They say you guys benefit. Now they say we ain't going in the army. We ain't doing nothing like that. And their position is that this, the exile that the Jews were suffering was penitence. They were supposed to go through this until the Spirit, they believe, you know, not Imam Mahdi, but uh, the Messiah is going to come and fix everything. And until then, we've got to work on our redemption. That's what they say. They say the state, there's no possibility of a state before the Messiah comes. It's just not, uh, in the meantime, and they ask many questions. They said, we don't, uh, okay, let me move toward a close. So who hired Donald Trump? What is his mission? Divide, conquer, and rule. Divide up everybody. Appear to be chaotic, but it's systematic chaos. It's, all this chaos is systematic. It's not haphazard chaos. All of his chaos keeps his, his enemies off base. He support the Zionists 1,000% all the time, right? So he's doing the job that he was hired to do. And Saudi Arabia, he sells them or gives them, and then talk to them bad. If, you know, if it wasn't for us, y'all wouldn't last two weeks. Just to let them know why, because they hate rights. Who would be self-respecting? to accept that unless they were sweet as candy, just big old punks. You believe in a lie and you have a big old fuzzy-headed cracker, half bald headed telling you, without me, you are the last two weeks. That shows how girly fried they are, but they hate Iranians who are Muslims too. We're not going to say that everybody's going to pay for it, but down the line, Muslims must develop a global strategy. We can't be haphazard anymore. We got to have 
a global strategy that we are acting off of Allah's will. Muslims must develop a global strategy, choose sides, keep score, stay away from the system. System is in decline. Reach out to the people and let the system go. What this means, the Muslims are a little weak-hearted right now. So they're, they're depending on the graciousness of America, which is bad. What we believe the Muslims should do is they stay away from the system and allow the system to collapse. When it collapses, the people, black people, Latinos, everybody will say, will generally maybe be happy or something. But we wouldn't be there with them. It's going to be confusing when this system collapses, which is clearly headed that way. But we sitting there holding it up, praying for the system. Right? We've been saying this for decades. Stay away from the system. Let it go down. Have confidence in the people. Have confidence in your religion. Yeah, have confidence in your religion. Let America go. The people have to wake up because the, the protagonists or antagonists are so mean-spirited. And they're not slowing down. Look like Donald Trump, would have, after he did the thing with uh, the embassy, it looked like after Europe, everybody said, that's bad. He would have said, hey, I'm going to take it easy now. No, I didn't do that. He said, go on Heights, but you don't have nothing to do with Israel. They just took it. Israel violates everything the UN is about. And they've been doing it all of this time. Nobody says anything. What the heck gives them the uh, ability? Well, we just tell you, Mr. Yahoo, you can bark and get mad all you want. We just happen to not be scaredy-fied Negroes. We just, it's not part of our makeup. So anything you feel like doing, you can go and get busy. Get busy in a hurry. And don't stop and remind us what you're going to do. Just do it. And don't be selling no wolf tickets about what you're going to do to us. Just do it. Like all other little stuff you've been doing, just get busy. You know, that's what uh, Noah said in the Quran. He said, all of y'all just get together and Get together openly where your plan is not dark and dubious, where y'all don't know what you're talking about. Don't do it in signals and signs, you know. No. Don't do that. Be clear about it. And don't give me no respect. That's what it says. That's what Noah told the people. He was all the way by himself, and he'd been with the people 900 and something years. Good God Almighty. Didn't that take a lot of patience? 900 years, as we count, because that's what the Quran said, they, they make things. No, 900 years as you count. That means lunar years for what that is. Good God Almighty, about 950, good God Almighty. Now, grand jury against the Zionists, that's what we're doing. That's what all this stuff. Triangle of terror, this is grand jury against the Zionists. And it's too late if this stuff has gone out just one time. That's all it takes, if anybody thinks it. Grand jury against the Zionists. Zionists are enemies of America. And now we got Pompeo right around trying to get his Hezbollah look. The reason the Zionists want to get America in on it, because <clears throat> he scared to death. <clears throat> Do y'all remember uh, Bashir, Good News, 2006? What was everybody doing? They was, holy Lebanon said it's good news. The people, some people, they didn't say it, but they was a little upset. 
So all of a sudden, everything we was telling them, we put out three CDs. But that's good news. Nobody in history, it was so beautiful. They combined, combined second and third generation weapons to be able to defeat fifth, fourth and fifth generation weapons. That's what they did. And this is the first time you see Zionists or Israeli soldiers leaning up against tanks crying real tears. They're ghosts. We can't find them. We can't see them. That's the way Allah put a cover over your eyes so you can't think. The Zionists don't want to have nothing to do with them. They want Americans. If the student, Hezbollah, whoops the guy, what do you think the professor is going to do to talk? The old man. The I've heard him say it. Huh? I've heard him say it. Right. That they don't, that, that they fear uh, Hezbollah more than Iran. I've heard him say it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> man. Or would rather deal with Iran as opposed to Hezbollah, however you want to put it. I've heard him say uh, it. They might have said it, but they don't. Iran is high tech number four or five in drones, and it'll be number three or something pretty soon, which that means you're in the number. Mm -hmm. uh, in another five years, Iran's missiles, Iran's everything will be, it's already on the road. It's not like it was when they, uh, uh, during the war. Iran is not going to allow themselves to be put in that uh, situation again. And they say it all the time, we're not going to allow you to tell us what to do in our own security. Y'all you, didn't say nothing, the poison gas and all that. Basically, y'all can go to hell, man. Ain't nobody caring about y'all. We were sitting out here burning up and then It was miserable. Poison gas, some of the outfits to protect it was rubber suits. Can you imagine putting on a rubber suit in Basra at 120 degrees outside? Good God, they was snatching them things off. They said that the heat in here is worse than that. Hey man, it's a long story. They're trying to restructure the world in the image of Zionism and Americanism, like they did in Libya. They destroyed Libya. They have produced nothing. They destroyed Afghanistan. They have produced anything. Right? They've destroyed Iraq. You got to remember the policy of destruction. If we destroy you, you can't take care of yourself, and then you have to rebuild. You need 10, 20, 30 years to rebuild your country. I don't think Iran is going to put up with that because Iran is a modern state. I mean, they have you, that skyscrapers everywhere. All these 30 story apartment buildings, they're everywhere. They're just all apartments, just 30 stories up. And I mean, they're just uh, big, elegant homes all over northern Tehran. So Iran is not. A so-called third world country, Iran is uh, is arriving, and it's not going to put up with. Uh, they got the feeling of martyrdom, uh, just like they everybody gets surprised when they mess with Shias. They do. They get surprised again. They have a population that's not. That Imam Hussein stuff started oozing out of people. You keep scratching and scratching, and when you hit blood, they're ready to go. You know, they're ready. The fountains are running. They used to be during the war, the fountains had red Kool Aid or something in them. 
like blood. Yeah, I didn't have no regular water. Let you know how they feel about martyrdom. And, and, and if you leave them alone, it's just talk. It's a ritual. It's a ritual. But you keep on messing around. Hey, man, I don't care where it's been. It's been the same story. Well, whether it's been Afghanistan, a lot of people on that Northern Alliance, they don't say who the Northern Alliance is, Mazar Sharif, all them play, those are Shias. You know. All over Bahrain, that's 80% Shias. And they've been putting up with that, uh, those people there, are pressing them for I don't know how long. It's built in. Okay. Let me speed up and get ready to close. They want to restructure the world. Image. Saudi Zionist Brazil, Colombia. Uh, Power Politics 101, Colonialism 101. Divide, Democrats divide, Republicans keep a 35% base and they would win uh, under this divided structure. Strategic management by chaos. Towels, I mean. Still independent, okay. All their countries drug dealers, yep. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Are there any questions or comments about anything that we have said so far? Any questions or comments? Just to reiterate, we're not going to let anybody build a picture of us. I'll just look at us some pictures. This is out of a magazine. I don't think it's this one. But look, they, they try to build a picture. This is grown at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the people they had in, in there. You can't see it a little bit. This is Abdul Malik over here. They call Abdul Malik the lecturer. This is Muhammad Alasi, Anwar Alaki. These boys here, shh. Hey, man, they look like Zionists to me. And here's the poor brother. So they'd have a page on each person. You know, they'd have a page on each person. That's from that magazine, the Intelligence Report, or where? 